Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm with GMInstrumentCluster.com. Today I'm going to help walk you through how to take an instrument cluster out of a GMC Envoy and also a Trailblazer. This one's a Trailblazer. It's the same truck, same platform. Um, where you're going to need the tools is you're going to need a 7mm socket and you're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and then also a trusty flashlight to see what you're doing. Um, right now we're going to go ahead and get into the vehicle. First of all, you're going to want to go ahead and set the emergency brake. It's already up here. And then make sure that you have the key. And then go ahead and put the key in the ignition for now. Then we're going to go ahead and come down here and take out some of the knee bolster screws. They're kind of down here a little bit, but you'll be able to see them. This is where your trusty flashlight comes in. There's going to be two of them down here that goes under the knee bolster. There's one there. And then there's one way back over here. And once you get those off, make sure you don't lose them. We'll just put them over here on the side. Then you just grab a hold of the thing and then pop it down. And then you're going to have two 7 millimeter screws that are right behind there. There's one back there. And there's going to be one right here. That takes care of down here at the knee bolster. Then we're going to take another screwdriver and pop out these little plastic clips. If you look on the very bottom, there's going to be a notch right there for you to stick your screwdriver in so you don't ruin the plastic and then go ahead and pop those right out. There's another one over here, same thing. Take it, pop it out. Right behind those is another 7mm screw behind each one. Once you get those out, go ahead and grab wherever you can. Kind of pop the thing loose a little bit. It takes a little bit of force there, and it'll come right out. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and set this off to the side. Now, once you get that out, we're going to Go ahead and come in here, and you're going to want to take your steering wheel and pull it all the way down as far as it can possibly go. Then you're going to get your Phillips screwdriver, and then you're going to have to take out a screw right here. There's going to be three of them here on the bottom. There's going to be one there. There's going to be one right there. And then one way inside here on the other side of the keyhole. Okay, then there's going to be more. There's two of them up here. You'll see little notches. Two notches on each side of the cluster. There's two Phelps head screws underneath there as well. Then there's one kind of hidden if you get your key on. And then your make sure your emergency brake is on and set. You're going to go ahead and take your gear selector and put it all the way down as far as you can go. And there's a screw way back in there to the left of your, your uh, outlet sockets there. And that'll be the last screw. Now, what you're going to do is start working from here. Just grab wherever you possibly can that's sturdy and then start popping it out. It takes a little bit of force from the factory. It's real stiff. This one's already been off before, so it's a little bit easier. Then just work your way around. All the way around, make sure everything's popped off. Then, before you pull it all the way off, just get it out a little bit. And then you're going to see uh, two connectors over here. This one right here is just a pinch connector. And you're going to pinch it and then pop it off. Sometimes they're a little bit tough. There we go. This one the same thing. No pinch connector. Now over here we're going to have Luke come around to the other side. And then I'm going to show you the other side harness connectors.
All right, now Luke's on the other side here. Here's one harness connector here. It's another pinch piece. Just pinch the top there and then yank out. Here's another one over here. This one's a little bit tricky that's down here. That one you're going to need a screwdriver for. And what you're going to do is you're going to get it out so where you can see it. Then you're going to put your screwdriver in between the two pieces there. And then once you get that in between there, you're going to go ahead and yank the plug right out. Then, once you get that out, you have two of them over here. You're going to try to walk this out a little bit. And this will pop out, and you got two right here. These are a little bit tougher. Once again, you're probably going to need a screwdriver and push in and pull. Push in like that. Push in just like that, and these two will come out. Just remember, white goes with white, black goes with black. Now once you do that, this is ready to come out. We'll go ahead and stick this one up on top of the dash there so we don't damage anything. Then we'll go ahead and have Luke come in here. And you're going to go from your Phillips now. You're going to go from your Phillips now. You're going to go to your 7 millimeter socket again. And you're going to come in here and in each top corner, each corner of the cluster, there's going to be a 7 millimeter screw. There's one up there on top. And there's going to be one down here on the bottom. And there's going to be another one up here on the top corner. And then one down here on the bottom corner. Now once you do that, you're going to go ahead and reach inside here on the very top and up in here on the top there's going to be the plug for the cluster here. What you're going to do is that big black button, you're going to want to push that and pull up on it. It's a little bit tough because it's brand new and it's never been out before. It takes a little bit of force to get them out. Just keep wiggling it back and forth until it pops out. There it's out. All you're going to do is just twist it towards you and then come right out. And there you have your cluster out.